exactly 50 years ago. Something special started in Bowdoin, Alberta. Since then, the Alberta Conference Camp Meeting has touched many lives. And this year, we'd like to go back to how it all began. With the very first theme we had at Foothills Camp. We invite you to the 2023 Alberta Conference Camp Meeting. Come join us to celebrate 50 years of moving by His Spirit. Welcome to Conference Happenings. Today I'm at Chinook Winds Adventist Academy. This is the academy that serves most of the southern part of the country here, of the conference, but it's mainly in Calgary. So I have today with me the principal, and I'm going to have him introduce himself, because I just know him <coughs> as Mr. Aldo. So tell me, <laughs> tell me your name. Well, first of all, welcome, and uh, welcome everyone watching. Uh, my name is Aldo Brucoleri, and I'm very proud to say that I'm the principal here at CWAA. Um, and I have just started about a month ago, yes. uh, a month and a half now, and um, I'm pleasantly uh, surprised uh, with, with the honor of being here and, um, and what's going on. So. You've lived in the area for a long time. <clears throat> yes, I have. Uh, so I've been a research professor and professor in education over 30 years um, in uh, Quebec and uh, here in Alberta. Started at McGill University, uh, then taught at Concordia University in Montreal. I have a PhD in chemical physics and specialization in environmental chemistry. Uh, so I was teaching at the high school, college, and university level. Yeah, it's, it's just over 30 years now. Um, so I think that Chinook Winds is uh, very lucky, very oh, fortunate to have yeah. somebody <laughs> that uh, has all that background. Well, thank you, thank you. And so I'm, I'm actually very, very happy to be here. Um, my career started in Montreal, McGill University, uh, and then um, I was uh, teaching at Concordia University in Montreal. Um, I helped also with Greaves Academy, the Adventist School in Montreal. Uh, I knew the founder of that oh, school. Oh, did you? I'm old enough to know her, Madame <laughs> Sylvia Greaves. And we did help. In those days, I was a graduate student, and uh, I helped with chemistry, physics, and mathematics to help the church. Um, and it's not on my resume, though. Uh, but anyways, uh, then after that, I um, was the assistant VP for um, the University of Calgary, uh, and I was a prof there for many years. And I continued to do research um, that then led to some uh, neuroscience findings uh, at how uh, adventist life principles help with brain health. Um, and, um, and we've expanded that to uh, MS research, Alzheimer's research, and brain aging. So uh, Adventist principles we've used, we've actually looked at now teas against MS, um, uh, floral teas, botanical teas. And uh, thank God, um, now in this venue here, I can um, extend some of this to help the science program mm -hmm, and our mm -hmm. young people um, learn uh, uh, on you know practical ways our Adventist life principles and health principles can help. Um, so are you still doing minor research then? Uh, yes, so part of my professional development, mm -hmm. I still have a research uh, collaboration with Loma Linda University. Oh, good. And also uh, just off campus here at uh, Mount Royal University. And uh, we continue to look at treatments for uh, MS, mm -hmm. as well as uh, brain aging and brain health. This um, is the place that you need to be with <laughs> all these students. Yes, and I'm, I'm hoping one day maybe some of these students may be in, at Loma Linda in medicine, and I could st I'd work with them, hopefully if I'm still around. <laughs> yes, that's but, very uh, fascinating. Well, you know, we're going to go on a little tour yes. of Chinook Winds here because we're here today and we want to just yeah. see a little bit of the school because I haven't been to this school. Okay. I stayed here a long time ago <laughs> as a senior from Okanagan Academy. So <laughs> that was a long time ago. But uh, well, we welcome. want to have a little bit of a tour and then we'll come back and do some more talking. Absolutely, yes. Let's go. So maybe an exciting thing about this tour is 
uh, to present you with the fact that we are actually setting up a building committee and um, getting the architects ready and the funding ready to uh, build a new building. We're growing that fast that uh, we are outgrowing this building for our K-12. to And so we're looking forward to having a new building built uh, just outside the second parking lot area. We're doing uh, soil testing now to check for stability. And uh, in fact, the uh, first meeting, the first workshop to have people's input for what the new building uh, would house is next Tuesday. Uh, so very shortly you're going to do this and then you can then you can sort of expand that's yeah you we're, know we you, are, you are over over populated in this small yes, facility which, <laughs> which is a good problem to have. Yes, so it's, it's very uh, good. We, our numbers continue to grow exponentially over the past um, I'd say seven years mm -hmm. and um, right now we are uh, we have people on a waiting list oh. that we have to turn away yes uh, almost in every grade it's a good so. problem but it's still sad yes so we yes. do need to do some yes. some fundraising and get this going yes yes <laughs> okay well so, yeah it's a, it is a beautiful view and I will show you we're actually uh, just in you're just in time to uh, See so practice for ah. tonight's spring concert, which Schools will start at seven. Schools always have so good concerts. I love their concert. So this is your so gym, and this is where you do all yes. sorts of things. And tonight's concert will be here. We're still putting up all the uh, decorations, oh, wonderful. and different grades are practicing at the same time. Yes. And do you do graduation here also? Yes, we did actually. You just missed that. It was last no two weeks ago. So. Okay, so it's yeah. it's just happened. Yes. Yes. It, that was a beautiful event. How many graduated? My goodness, uh, 17 this year. 17 in yeah. grade 12. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good, and, that's and a good number. And numbers may go up to 22 by next next year. Yeah. Grade 11s is that? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and, and harass. Uh, yes. <laughs> Let's go talk to, <laughs> to Pastor, Pastor Paul. Our chaplain. Who is the chaplain is, here and is yeah, well is known Pastor in our Paul. conference. We're just going to take some movies of you, if that's okay, Pastor Paul. It's you guys. Well, you know, we, we like to come and check out some of the places I haven't done a little program and feature of. There so this is the one. There you go. And you're here. I'm here. So what are you doing? So chaplains get to do a whole bunch of things. <laughs> yes. We're setting up for our spring concert tonight. Okay. Yeah. Oh, tonight. We won't keep you long, but other than doing this, what do you usually do? Well, as Chapel Schmidt wins, I'm yes. usually busy with organizing chapel services, weekly chapel services. We have our um, secondary chapel and our elementary chapel. We call in speakers. Um, the kids organize their praise services. Sometimes the kids actually take chapels. We organize um, week of prayers. Um, chapel, chaplains also organize up through COVID, of course. Uh, every two years we do our uh, a mission trip. Oh, right. And so this right. year we were hoping to go out, and unfortunately that got canceled. And uh, so next year we're hoping to go out uh, to a country somewhere in Inter America. Oh. And uh, so, yeah, we're always keeping busy. So you do this all in 10 months? All in 10 months. <laughs> yeah, we do. Do. And on top of that, we get to go out on field trips, and we do class worships, do Bible studies, um, we do baptismal classes with our grade 5 classes. Uh, we have done it doubled up with grade 5 and 6 because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And so there's always that going on every March. Um, usually at the end of our week of prayer, we have bring right into this gymnasium. Uh, the baptistry that we use in camp meeting. Yes. And yes. we usually baptize between 7 to 11 students every year. And sometimes there's students that want to be baptized at Foothills too. That's so correct. that's mm. coming up. That's I mean, right. that's now. You, you know, people are seeing this video at camp meeting. So yes. this is good. Okay, we won't keep you because I know you're busy. That's okay. But thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Okay. <laughs> So basically, what we try and do is uh, separate oh. our um, junior high and high school okay. from our elementary. So, is it easy to do in a building that's one uh, building? It's becoming more difficult because of the, you know, the numbers of students we have. Right. 
Right. So roughly speaking, um, this entire section, so the architecture of the building is basically like a rectangle. So oh, okay. roughly speaking, on this side we have elementary, and on this side we have uh, high school and junior high. So I, I will take you through elementary first. Steps. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, this is a very, very special room. This room is actually used by all our school. Well, um, a University Fall Classic. They were the winners <laughs> in 2015. <laughs> wow. Or they, at least were yeah, there. Our, they were there, all of those. Yeah, our sports programs right. and music are the two top uh, programs here. Well, that's the kid, what the kids remember. Mm -hmm. I mean, they yeah. learn yeah. in all the other areas, but yeah. that's what they remember yeah. From year to year to year. Yeah. And that's good for them. It yes. teaches them leadership. It teaches right. all sorts of things, doesn't it? Now, this is a very, very special room. This so is. This is the heart of the um, music program. Oh. And we have an outstanding uh, music teacher, Miss uh, Corinda Swain. This is one of our actually very good uh, musician students uh, ah. from grade 12. He's just graduating this year. Good. Hello. Um, so, uh, yes, uh, practice goes on here. Do they put the, the whole band in here? Uh, sometimes, or part, like classes will come in, uh. and then when everyone is together, we go in the gym. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they do just they came do they do the choir in here also? Uh, practice for part of it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because all the specialty equipment's here and upstairs. Yes. So, um, basically, yeah, we use this room as a specialty room for music. Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you um, for letting us come in. <laughs> so now uh, we come to the uh, basically the elementary wing. How many kids do you have in the elementary? And that would uh, be grade one, two, uh, uh, eight? Yeah, uh, so we have K, Kin K, K through six. K through so six roughly here? roughly about, yes. Uh, so in each class, roughly on average around 25. Okay. 22, 22 to 25 students. So around 110 or so uh, students. This is our kindergarten class. Beautiful class. And as you can see, well decorated, spacious, Hi. even though we have a high number. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's having the birthday? <laughs> Whose party is it? Michael? There, there's the birthday boy. Happy birthday. <laughs> you you want to have a birthday? <laughs> Is it your birthday too? Not today. Okay. So one actually uh, note I should make about all our classes: why we try and keep our class sizes to around you know between 15 and 25 is so that there's more one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. between the teachers and the students, as compared to public schools which can go over 40. Per class. Yes. So, um, yes. so uh, this is grade one. Uh, oh, I think they might having be a quiet a little time. Exact, yeah. So this is our grade one. Yeah, we, More won't, or less, we won't go in. <laughs> yeah. Decorated almost the same as the yes. kindergarten. Yes. And Teachers have to be good at everything. Yes. Decorations. Yes. Classrooms, and, yeah. management, everything. Exactly. And this goes right up into the Yes, gym. this is where the elementary will come up, you know, for the performances, and then we go in on this side to the gym. Like, for example, tonight. Yes, uh, part of the, they'll, uh, they'll get ready back exactly. here. Exactly. Which is a great place for that. Exactly. What are they doing out here in the hall? Pardon? Oh, they're, I think they're, it's their little uh, lunchtime right now. Oh, it's lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. So all the classes I was just thinking their... that there was something happening yeah. over here, Yes, no? these are the decorations getting ready for tonight. Oh, for tonight. Yeah. So this is our grade two. <laughs> Miss uh, Leslie Nelson is the, uh, oh. is the teacher here. Unfortunately, today she's ill, but we oh, have a substitute teacher. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to do that sometimes. And there's One so much our... light coming in from outside, okay. so it's nice. Oh, they want to be on the movie. <laughs> 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 and this is our grade three uh, teacher here is an uh, excellent teacher, Miss Kennedy. Oh yeah. And that's their little lunch break right now. So. Oh, okay. Oh, do they do they play the flutes all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. We're just doing a little movie. <laughs> 
I will show you. So we have a smaller we have a smaller playground area for recess for some okay. of the elementary here, but uh -huh. you'll see the bigger one on the other side. So it goes around the side? Yes, yes. Is the larger one is up the hill. I'll, I'll show you okay. on that side. Oh, but you for, guys, you really want to be in the movie. For short breaks and little, uh, you know, relaxation times, sometimes we can Yeah, yeah. So here we have our uh, grades four and five. Grade four on this side, grade five on this side. Again, they're having their little lunch break, which are more than welcome oh, yeah. to our class. Oh. We're just looking around to see what the school is like for camp meeting. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for having us. They're all out for uh, lunch right now, ah. but would you like to see the classroom? Probably okay. all look pretty much alike, yes. don't yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> and I will take you back out. Okay, because I know we'll that see. teacher. He must be having yes. lunch somewhere. Yes, David Barrett. Mm -hmm. Camera's coming. <laughs> Aren't we lucky we came at lunchtime? <sighs> so yeah, because of our numbers, we actually had to steal one of our rooms from the high school mm. side, which is grade six over here. And this is the pastor's office here? Uh, yes, the pastor's office here. Now, this is a very special room, actually, that we have. So uh, for students who may need extra help with math or uh -huh. uh, reading or whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, we use this as a special learning center. And we'll have specialists that come in. And we have more of a one-on-one. -on -one so this isn't careers. the grade 6 class, uh, This could be, anyone could be using this okay. learning commons. Okay. Anyone with, uh, you know, just requiring a little extra help. Right. So we have specialized help, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And that's with, good. And yeah. it's needed. Yeah, exactly. It's needed. And there's the pastor's office. Yes, that, pastor's with office. With his guitar. Right yep. Which he's is, been and here he's for several here, years already. Yes, and he's here every day just in case we have need, you know. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, for one-on-ones. Uh, -on -ones. Now, this is another special room. So we're actually very proud of this. Now, I sort of misspoke before. <laughs> when I said that our two major programs are music and our sports programs. This is very exciting. So this is something that we're developing and we're injecting much more time and money into. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is uh, programming and robotics. Oh. So the theoretical oh. part, uh, students will be uh, learning programming language yes. here uh, uh, at the lower level. <clears throat> and then I'll show you. What they do after that is they go upstairs. I love these lofts. Yes. They're yes. great. Yeah. And it is a little messy because we are going to clean up in the, <laughs> in the well, summer. Well, you know, but summer is coming and that's yeah, typically when you can like, do it. We have to get some repairs done too. But you'll see we have a very specialized uh, computer and robotics section here. Oh, wow. And students are actually in the process of learning how to put computer boards together uh, and to program them and ultimately to build, oh, we don't have our little robots out today, but then we actually build little robots. It's a computer. Yes, and they're learning actually how it works from the inside out. And the robots can actually move. Oh, good. And walk around and we will be entered into competitions <laughs> next year. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually a program we're very, very excited about. Yes. And it will be expanding through the whole school, K through 12. Wow. Yeah. So this is, which grades would uh, be doing so this? So right now it's sort of more focused on junior high. Oh, okay. And a little bit eight, into nine, high ten? school. Eight, eight, yeah, nine? so seven, seven, seven eight, 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 nine. Yeah, and then a little bit into 10, 11. Okay. But uh, next year we're hoping to go. Going to start them except, in kindergarten? Yeah, maybe not <laughs> kindergarten, but we'll introduce terms though very early, like in grade one. Well, that's how they learn. That's yes. how the world is. Exactly. And as a scientist, yes. it's so important and because it's... most of the professions, you know, by the time they enter the workforce, will be, um, you know, I told controlled. told you. You were the right one for this place. <laughs> Thank you. So, in fact, uh, so this is our grade seven, actually, I think. They're actually in the middle of an assignment right now. And that's because, okay. Because... Uh, final exams and so on are going on, so they're practicing. Yeah. So this is our grade seven. Basically. Is this for the Ukrainian students? Yes, it is. Yes, we are actually proud to say that we've helped 
quite a few uh, Ukrainian families mm -hmm. who are fleeing mm -hmm. the tragedies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually have specialized EAs Good. that help with interpretation as Good. well. Good. And integration. And the kids are learning English exactly. because they soak it up yeah. so fast as, yeah. as kids. Right. And now, so uh, another classroom that we use for grade 7, 8, and 9, but specialized for mathematics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and this is the... The, this is just, just the lockers exit. for the, jun That's the right. junior high and high? That's right. Okay. And over here as well. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. lots. Yeah. And they serve them all the way down. And they have their own bathroom sets That's and right. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, so they stay a little High school and separate. elementary are separated. And our groundskeeper. Oh, uh, good. We need him <laughs> All the time. <laughs> yeah. We, in fact, have to expend and hire more people because the, the school has grown, exploded. So... Uh, Back when, you know, there were only maybe a, a hundred students or so, mm -hmm. but now we're close to 300, so uh, we you really... You have that many here? Uh, almost, yeah. yeah. You'll see the numbers okay, pretty soon, Okay, we'll, yeah. we'll go back <laughs> to your office. Uh, so here is another area of interest because, uh, well, it's a kitchen right now. However, it's going to be like uh, what we want to do is expand it into a teaching kitchen as well. Well, yes. You see, so do for some health. Home can help, Exactly, yes. and uh, we're thinking of integrating chemistry with that as well. Oh. You know, like uh, chemistry of cooking and yeah. health and so on. And so chemistry, biology, and cooking. Oh, well, that's thing. a good yeah. combination. Only you could do that. <laughs> I, I, I used to, I designed a course in See? Montreal like that. So. Only you could do that. Yeah. So, but do you use the kitchen here for when you do things yeah, site um, on the weekends and functions That's and right, stuff. like yes. graduation. Yeah. And we'll even do a little practice before we walk on. And so on. Y yes. You, know? <laughs> you need to have that prayer yes, and practice. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> Exactly, and so in talking of chemistry, so this is a chemistry uh, yes. lab, and you can see our little periodic table, which needs upgrading. Hello, uh, Hello. <laughs> and we will. <laughs> and the chemistry storeroom is in the back. This is Miss Gordon, our chemistry Hello. and science teacher Hello. for seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And oh, so there's the, all the tables and things that yeah, you need. Yeah, and our little lab space in the mm -hmm. back. Yeah, the chemical storage room is in, is in the uh, back on that side. Yeah, yeah. We keep that separate. Yeah, you have to. And we're trying to expand that. In fact, that's another little thing I'm doing is moving away from uh, teaching using toxic compounds toward green chemistry, mm. sustainable. So, and in fact, that's the way of industry right now. I've worked in industry for quite a few years. And so that's the, the way out of, you know, uh, and it's also you safer. You almost have to. Yeah. And Besides so, being safety. Exactly. Yeah. And, and all yeah. of industry is moving in that direction. Yeah. Anyhow. So is this the playground you were telling us yes, about back yes, here? Yes, yes, yes. So it's a beautiful area. This is just another entrance to the lab. Is there one more uh, classroom? Yes. Uh, now, you'll see more actually downstairs. Oh, so there's a downstairs here, to this building. Yeah. Oh. So this we also use for uh, specialized physics uh, and more advanced. Do you teach physics? I used to, yes. But here? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> no, I, I, in fact, was pulled away from MRU. And there I actually am, I still have a, a lab uh, in research in, chem in the Department of Chemistry and Physics at Mount Royal University. As well as Loma Linda. Yeah. It's just that I need some lab space here for my work for the Adventist Church. Yeah. So I need the Mount Royal, and they let me still attend. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> and they're learning about our Adventist message. I use it as a, as a way it's to It's an proclaim. evangelism thing, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, Can I take you on a little... Oh, up to the top of the sure. Hill? Sure. A, Am I going to have so, to climb the hill? <laughs> yeah, no. You know what? It's okay. We can <laughs> no, watch No, we can here. do it. We no, can no, do it. no. It's okay. There's another playground area there for a younger, um, you know, from K yeah. to 6. And then we actually own all the land all the way up. To the top? top? Yeah. And not too far on the sides, but basically up there. So we actually even use uh, the natural settings. I was going to say, biology up yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. So we actually do like uh, you know study ecology, biology, yeah, and um, basically uh, indigenous ways of knowing. We integrate that in the natural setting. To so learn. do you have anything up there? Uh, basically another field Just for a playground. Field for playground. Yeah. And, and there's the younger some, ones yeah, up there. Yeah, they like to have the yeah. playground and equipment. We often have little visitors that come by, like deer <laughs> and so on. So. Do you have any bear? Uh, no, thank God, no bear. <laughs> So, um, so in the winter time, do yeah. they slide down this hill? Uh, sometimes, Not to this. Uh, no, no. But we do. Our um, caretaker actually keeps this clear, and part of the uh, hill, so that the, the children can use some of this extended uh, ground. This is our wonderful, invaluable Mrs. Melissa Brown. Hi. Hi. When, and 
thank you for allowing us to come and video at your school. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. So you've been here quite some time too. I have. For like 20 years, but 15 years, 10 years. <laughs> I've been back and forth here at Chinook for about 30 years. Okay, wow. I wasn't even in the ballpark. <laughs> when I graduated from CUC, yes. wow. that was my first teaching job. Yes. Wow. And then I've been back and forth doing other things in education. And just coming back. Last, yeah. So oh, this it's a good place time, to be. Probably about last 16 years. Oh, okay. Uh, you haven't gone very far then. Where did Mr. Barrett go? The there he is. Mr. Barrett. <laughs> <laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> I have to introduce him because I know him. He's a friend of my son's. So he graduated from CUC when? Uh, 2016. 2016? Yeah. That's a good time. <laughs> when it was Berman. <laughs> when it was, well, it's uh, I know. Just name True. changed when I graduated. So oh, is that right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And this is not your first teaching <coughs> job, though? No, I worked at Mamoy for three years. Yes. Yeah. Then you got married and came down here. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, around, around that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's good seeing you. You're grade five. Yeah, grade five. Were you out at outdoor school too? I was. I, I thought so. Yep. <laughs> Have a good shot. Yes. Thank you. All right. Take care. So yes. <laughs> this is uh, Mr. Rick, our, uh, oh. our sports coordinator. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah. smart that you're sitting different. in the shade. <laughs> you need to sit in the shade because it's too hot out here. <laughs> it is hot today. 30 degrees. It Celsius. is. <laughs> I'll show you the other uh, classroom. So we've uh, renovated and expanded the, the basement mm -hmm. to help with the size. With the size, yes. yes. So this is more for the specialized lectures for physics oh, okay. and the advanced physics. Okay. Um, that's Miss Belinda, and she is. Uh, she teaches physics. physics yeah. And chemistry too. So, so uh, oh, chem and here's chemistry lectures, some science as well, oh. and some math as well. And for uh, more advanced uh, language arts is right over. Is it around their corner? Yes. This is Miss Goldman's our yes. uh, science and mathematics teacher. They do more of the advanced courses here. Okay. As well, uh, uh, language arts, humanities, more of the I just want to tell everybody that you won Teacher of the War, Teacher of the Year. Oh, I see. <laughs> Was that just, is that an SDACC thing? Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. So this is our latest Teacher of the Year Award recipient. That is correct. <laughs> and it was quite a surprise. It was. It was. That's a real good. Surprise. That's good. But You've been here a long time. Yes. But an honor as well to receive it. For yes. Sure. You've, you've taught for how long here? Oh, I'm just getting closer and closer because yeah, my mic's okay. the only one on. <laughs> it's okay. I've been here for 18 years. 18 years. Yes, I have. That is correct. So, yeah. you've been it around is. camp meeting too. You've been oh, doing I've the, been the burger barn I and know. things. <laughs> for, many, for many years, I did do the burger barn. Yes, that is did. correct. You so, did. we could raise money to go on our EF tours. EF. Education First. Oh, what's that's, Education First? That's where um, we go on trips that are sponsored, that are, uh, we have a guide that will take us to different localities. For example, one year we went to Greece. So our Greece? Guide, Greece. So our guide just takes us to these places and will tell us everything that happened here with the theaters, with the archaeology and all of that. And it's footsteps of Paul as well. Oh, And so that's wow. why it's an educational tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we learn lots. Well, you know, when you go on tour, you have to learn. You do, you do. But this and you one do is anyway, just because you're going yeah. somewhere different. But this but one is specifically mm -hmm. geared so that we do have a guide with us all the time. Mm -hmm. And then the students are learning. If you ever need a yeah. chaperone. That's what I figured. Let yes, me know, let me, me know. <laughs> Yeah. So, Thank you for coming yeah. out of your classroom yes, to, for sure. to talk to and me. And it's almost lunchtime, so you got me before I ready that's, to eat. <laughs> that's good, good. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, um, yeah, for sure, Debbie. Thank yeah. you. And you thank uh, Scott. Scott. Scott's you, Scott. always with me. <laughs> yeah, there we go, together. Yes. All right, you guys take care. Okay, thank yeah. you. But that's one thing I do want to do is uh, in, over the next six months, mm -hmm. I, I'm meeting with uh, all the pastors for all the constituency churches, mm -hmm. and I'll be introducing both myself and the needs of CWAA mm -hmm. because there is much need. Mm -hmm. I've noticed in just my few, first few weeks here, like I said, I've just over a month, month and a half now, um, that there are some misunderstandings and misconceptions. People hear the word private school, 
and they think we're rolling in cash and we have everything we need, but it's quite the opposite. Uh, we do, we are a, a non-profit yes, um, school and we do help many families in need, Yes, uh, including, you know, uh, refugees mm -hmm, and so on. Mm -hmm. So we do desperately need help. Uh, well, help, that's um, one of the things that we can look forward to as time yeah. goes on because I know it's been talked about yep. often and it will happen. Yes, thank you. Happen. Yes, Yeah, because not only for the building expansion and renovation, but also, for example, our chemistry lab. Yes. Computers, um, uh, physics lab, equipment. Those are things that are necessary. Yeah. yeah. Back when I was a kid, they were yeah. necessary yeah. and they weren't always furnished. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, but, so it's an ongoing problem. Yeah. So, yeah. But, Good. Yeah, well, I'll, let's I go will. back up yes. and talk in your office for yep. a bit. So I'll, let, I'll follow you into your office. Yes. <laughs> Just this way, thank you. And there are wonderful office personnel. Well, I've talked heartbeat, to several of them. The heartbeat <laughs> of the school. We would be flat on our face without them. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. So this is uh, Flora May. She helps uh, in all aspects, as well as Miss Lynn uh, Salango. She is the brain and heart of the school registration and the busing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't say it like that. Without you, you just say that, that I make everybody else look good. We are, <laughs> we are nothing without you. <laughs> so. And then we have your business manager yes, too. Yes, very important. We can't do anything without your business no. manager either. So. <laughs> Isn't this that true? This is Miss Millicent. <laughs> so, good. Yeah. So. Now, is this a little kitchenette or staff room or uh, something? Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes, I didn't show you. That's okay. Uh, I'm just wandering is, myself. Yeah. So, yeah, a little kitchenette. Staff room can relax, socialize here. Yes, and you do work, too, because you have <laughs> the cutting right. machine. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> lack of space. Lack of space that's eating in to... Um, yes. Yeah. But it's a space that's yeah. needed. Yeah, exactly. Very needed. And for team building, you know? Oh, like, yeah. Get to chat. And, yeah. Well, this has been a really nice tour. Oh, I'm so I'm glad happy. that you t took Please us so around. I will. I'll sit down yep. after. Thank you. So I just want to know a little bit about, we talked about 1945, I think, right. was when it was built or right. started, uh, not built. Yeah. It wasn't at this location. No, no. So, um, but from, I think it was 1974, uh, the major structure was settled here, but then there was a fire. Yes. And then... Uh, Anybody can go on YouTube and find it. Uh, yes. <laughs> And then, so uh, that was in the 80s, mid 80s. And then, uh, but uh, most of the beautiful, I don't know if you had a, a chance to see the uh, facade. Yes, it's uh, nice. That beautiful facade was um, preserved and restored um, after that. And uh, since then, uh, we are trying to renovate, again, funds for that. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, uh, the new building uh, project, right. which we're looking forward to. Right. And that new building, <clears throat> uh, I don't ha we don't have like an architectural no. design yet, but uh, it will match the facade, you know. That would be uh, good. Yeah. So. so let me ask about um, the student population. Yes. Like so you said are, seven years ago, do you have the list yeah, from seven to uh, now? I don't have the seven on, but roughly speaking, we're going up. Um, so. How many do you have this year? Uh, so the grand total this year is 276. 276. Yeah. And um, so a total of in elementary from K to 6, roughly of about 170, 169. And from 7 to 12, another 107. Wow. So we're looking at about 276. Next year, uh, we're now, so yeah, roughly speaking over the past decade or, or so, We've increased at the rate of um, maybe about, I want to say about 12 students per year. And it adds up because yes. with our space limitations and also class size that we try, we do not maximize past 25, 22, I should say 20 to 25. Yes. Uh, and um, if, for example, in grade 10 to 12, just because the room size isn't big enough, we can only accept 17, for oh, example. Wow. So, you know, the... Uh, the physics room mm -hmm. you saw in the chemistry cannot hold 25. 
nor 20, just 17. Well, we have that lab in the back. And That's you need, right. You need That's some right. space. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So uh, the, the good news is this. So we not only looked at, of course, this increase, uh, but um, retention as well. Yes. So that's another important statistic. So uh, we are almost at 99.2% retention in terms of, so when we look at, for example, K to grade one, grade one to grade two, and so on, uh, we retain almost 100%. That's amazing. Yeah, of our students. That's really good. And, and our waiting list is increasing on <laughs> average. Yeah, some classes, uh, you know, um, up to nine uh, on a waiting list or, you know, yes. so it's, it's, it's so, a good problem. So when the grade 12s leave, which yeah. was 17, you said this yes, year? Yes, this year. Yeah. You know, it, it comes in through, yes. the, through the other classes yes. coming up. Exactly. And now the previous classes have, have high numbers, like in grade one, we have 27. That was the one exception we made to go over that 25. So we were looking at 27, 23, 25, 24, all the way down. So the numbers are going to keep going up, and yes. we don't have the space. Yes, that's, uh, that's which is a hard. big problem. Yeah, because, you know, parents do want to keep uh, yes. their children here. So when we're going from, for example, grade 10 to 11, that's a big problem. Because then, yeah. you know, we, we're coming in with 20, 25 and we only have space for 17. So. Oh dear. Yeah, so. Well, that's a good problem to have, and yeah. you know, maybe we have to finish on that, but exactly. we need to remember that, uh -huh. you know, this is a growing school. Yes. It's a happening which place. Is, which is good. I mean, um, you know, it's, it means that we're a living, vibrant community, right. and we are growing. And um, with all the, all the different things you do, and the, the groups that yeah. happen here exactly. with the chaplain doing oh, yes. all those things and we it's do. a ministry yes exactly and in, in fact you stole words out of my mouth i was going to say <laughs> we are we're sort of a, a living sermon yes. if you will yes. day to day and i know you know uh, as i belong to central church in calgary i teach sabbath school sometimes there the adult sabbath sabbath school um one thing i'll say i think you know, church, of course, is fantastic. We meet on Sabbath. But the day-to-day -day, uh, sermons, the living sermons, I should say, here are a form of evangelism that I think you cannot capture in any other way. Right. So uh, students see it in our teachers. They're, our teachers are beyond phenomenal. Beyond. I can't even begin to express that. So there's a type of love, uh, a loving ethos, Christian ethos in this school that permeates the school. You could really feel it. And uh, a team among the teachers, among all staff, mm -hmm. that goes above and beyond. I cannot speak enough of how incredible, honestly, our teachers are. That's good. That's um, good. And I, I see that. You know, they never complain. Many after our... Um, As teachers all do. Yeah, are, are, <laughs> are you know, demanded of them, yeah. and they don't yeah. complain. Yeah. And so that's many secret jewels they'll get in the next world, I think, in their crown for that as a teacher. That's good. Um, well, thank you. I think we have to wrap this up. Yes. But thank you so much for allowing us to come down. Lovely This to has meet been you. a lovely tour and a visit with lots of different teachers that My I've pleasure. known the names of for a long time but have never met. Yes. And it was nice to meet you, and My welcome pleasure. to being the principal here. Thank you. Pray for us. <laughs> and Thank <me>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.